back to my channel. Thanks for coming back, and if you haven't been here before, I'm Karen. So today what we're gonna do is do a quick leg workout. Uh, it's summertime and it's hot everywhere, so I don't know about you, but I love to wear shorts in the summer, and I wanna wear dresses, and um, so I wanna keep my legs as toned as I possibly can. So it's really easy, it's not a hard thing to do, but you do need to put a little bit of time into it every week, at least twice a week, and you do wanna be consistent. So um, what I'm going to do is just show you some, some quick little leg exercises and glute exercises that will keep everything toned and looking good. What we're trying to do in this workout is do whatever we can without any real equipment. Since the gyms are closed, you don't really have access to a squat machine, a leg extension machine, a hamstring curl machine, or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use weights and um, a band and a mat and do whatever we can to get the best workout we can. So what you want to do is just do a quick warm up before we start. Um, you know, if you want to do like a little bit of bike ride or a little bit of walking on the treadmill or maybe a little bit of running on the treadmill for five or 10 minutes, that's a really great warm up. Otherwise, if you want to strategically warm up each muscle group, you can do that. Uh, we don't have a lot of time for that today, so what we're going to do is just get started into our leg workout. But this actually, the first um, exercise I'm going to do is actually really good to warm up your legs. So all you're going to do is cross your arms, your feet are about hip width apart, and you're going to sit right back so your hips go down to the level of your knees. So each time you go down, you want to push your glutes back, and then each time you come up, you want to squeeze your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes on the way up pushing through your heels. So just do 10 to 15 reps of these. And then what I like to do is I like to add pulsing and isometric holds. So when I get after I get down to my 12th or 15th rep, I'm going to just sit here and pulse. I'm going to lift my toes just a little bit really try to target those quads. You can really feel the burn. So do that for about 10 to 12 and then I like to hold. Lift your chest up a little bit more and then drop your, your seat down a little bit more. You really feel it. And then push all the way up and squeeze your abs. So that's a good little warm up in, in and of itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start using the band. We're going to add to that, that same squat. So our feet are going to be a little further apart. Cross your arms. I'll show you sideways. And you're going to sit back and then you're going to push your knees outward and then come back up. And then sit back, push your knees outward and come back up. So you're working your abductors. So we've got a lot of different muscle groups that we're going to work. But we want to make sure we strategically target each muscle group. So you're gonna get, bring down, push it out, and come back. So your abductors are right here on either side of your legs. And it also is working your glutes too. And your quads. So really add that contraction, push all the way up. So sit down, push out, in and up. Drop it down, push it out, squeeze your abductors, bring it in, squeeze your quads, and push up and squeeze your glutes. So the same thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it down and then we're gonna push outward, working our abductors. But you're also working your quads at the same time. There's a lot of muscles in your quads, there's four. So you gotta really try to work them and then bring it all the way up and down. So since we still have that band on, I think what we should do is just pound out another 12 reps of working our abductors, our glutes, and our quads. And you're working a little bit of your hamstrings, but you really feel it in your quads, mostly in your abductors and in your glutes. So same thing, just cross your arms and just squat down and then lift your right foot up and really squeeze your abductors and your glutes.
same thing. Get that one split second where you just hold that contraction. It doesn't have to be very long, but if you add that contraction, you're gonna see a little bit more of a result. So you can really feel it in your abductors, which is right here on the side. You're gonna feel it in your glutes, and you're gonna feel it in your quads. Two more. This is a really great exercise. These resistance bands really make a big difference. You don't have to do as many reps, and you get a great workout. So now we're gonna go to our hamstrings and our glutes and try to really target that area. So I'm gonna use weights for this. Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but if you can, definitely try. So I've got uh, 10 pound weights in each hand, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have my feet about hip width apart, and I'm just gonna start running those weights down the front of my legs. And when I get down to where I can't go anymore, I'm gonna bring the weights out just a tiny bit and then come back up and squeeze my hamstrings and my glutes on the way up. So some people are more flexible than others. Some people have really tight hamstrings, which I completely get. But if you can get down a little further, keeping your knees bent, just slightly bent, and keep your back nice and flat and run the weights right back up your legs, you're gonna really feel it in your hamstrings and at the very top, you're gonna to feel it in your glutes as you come up. So the same thing, you're gonna to wanna to do about 10 to 15 reps. And you're gonna to wanna to try to do a couple different sets of all of these. But really squeeze on the way up. Like I said, add that contraction. I'm only going to do one set of each exercise with you just because I don't want the video to be too long but I want you to get the benefit of each exercise. Really squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. Get that one split second of a contraction. Run it right down your legs, bring it out just a little bit at the bottom and then run it right back up your legs and squeeze. Okay, three more. And really try to keep your back straight and flat. And last one. Bring it all the way up and just squeeze and hold that contraction in your glutes and your hamstrings and relax. So, so just add some variety to your workout. I like to um, you know, grab the weights again, and then if you have a bench, great. <laughs> if you have a bench, you can put your leg on it. Um, but if you don't have a bench, you can use a chair or a table. Uh, so what you wanna do is make sure that your, your heel is right below your knee, and when you go down, you keep your body straight. And it's a perfect lunge position. And then push right back up through your heel working your right glute and quad. Duh. Quad, duh. Four of them. All four of them. <laughs> so just push right straight up and squeeze your right glute and also squeeze your left glute when you come up too. So you're hitting both your glutes. And it's a really great workout because you can really stay in the right position if you just keep your shoulders up and your head up and your body nice and straight and flat. Really, really targeting your quads and your glutes. So same thing, do 12 of these. And then what I like to do too, like I said before, is add some pulsing. That's when I can really feel it. And then come all the way up. Feel that burn in my quads and my glutes, I love it. Next set, which is our left foot forward, and put your right foot on the bench. So make sure that your left heel is kicked out far enough so that when you bend your knee, your knee stays right over your heel and you're keeping your back flat. So your chest is just a tiny bit forward, but your back is nice and flat. So each time you bend, your, bend down, you're gonna push up through your heel and squeeze your quads and your left glute. 
now you're going to add the contraction in your right glute too at the very top. So you're working both. So try to get as much out of your movements as you can. Try to strategically work each muscle group and add that contraction. And if you do that and visualize what you're doing, you're going to get a better workout. So a couple more. Like I said, you're going to try to do a couple more sets on your own if you can. And then add the pulsing and really squeeze your left glute and your quads. A couple more. And then come up. Whew. That's good. <laughs> it burns though. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're gonna do some side lunges. I think incorporating movements that go side to side is really important. You definitely wanna work your muscles a little bit differently and it really does target your quads pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take uh, five pound weights on each shoulder. If I do 10 pounds, it seems to be a little bit too much um, and I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my form. So what I'm gonna do is just lunge to the side and then push up through my quads and my glutes come back to the center. So keep that one leg straight and really push and squeeze. Really squeeze up for your quads and your glutes. But I think, you know, a lot of people do lunges to the front and lunges to the back. But I don't see a lot of people doing side lunges when I'm at the gym. So and start incorporating some side ones into it, it's really gonna help work your quads a little differently. So, just do it. <laughs> Add it in, might as well. It's fun for variety too. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple more. Squeeze as you come up. And squeeze as you come up. Oh, it feels pretty good. So, as I get better at it, I'm gonna start using more weight but I think this was pretty good for me. Okay, so just two more exercises. We're gonna bring it onto our mat. We're gonna target um, our glutes again and our abductors, uh, quads and hamstrings, and then we're gonna specifically target our adductors because those are a little bit harder to get. Most of the other exercises, they incorporate most of the muscles in your legs, but your adductors are an area that is you actually really have to specifically, strategically target that area. So um, first we're gonna do a uh, little band work. So we're gonna put this band around our legs. And what you do is just gonna lay back, keep your back flat on the ground. So tuck your pelvis under and your arms are straight and your head is all the way back. And all you're gonna do is push up through your heels and squeeze your glutes. So when you do that, you wanna make sure that your knees are wide enough so that you've got the resistance. So you can feel that resistance. So when you get up there, you get that one split second where you just hold that contraction in your glutes. And actually you're working your abs a little bit too, which is nice. So you're squeezing your glutes, but you're pushing up through your heels, which is working your hamstrings. And then you're also working your quads a little bit. So we're gonna do about 12 reps of these, really adding that contraction in your glutes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we did when we were squatting and we pushed our knees outward and we worked our abductors. So we're gonna add that into it. So see how I get that one split second and I just hold that contraction. And really squeeze everything if you can. So now we're gonna start pushing it outward, working our abductors and come back in. So we're gonna go up, out, in, and down, but really squeeze the whole time. Really keeping your glutes nice and tight. Up, out, in, down, up, squeeze, squeeze, and release. So this is a great exercise. If you're pushing up through your heels, you're gonna really feel it in your, in your glutes. But you can incorporate the other muscle groups too, which is awesome. Like I said, I like to add the pulsing and I like to add an isometric hold at the end of most of the things that I do because I think it works your, your muscles in different ways and 
you incorporate different muscle fibers. So we're going to push it up and just hold for a count of 10. And then we're going to pulse for a count of 10. Really push up through your heels and squeeze whatever you can. And then bring it down. Okay, so we're on our last exercise, um, and this one's actually really hard. Uh, you can use ankle weights if you want to, but actually it, with nothing, it, it actually is pretty challenging. So all you want to do is lay on your side and support your, your head with your hand and support your body with your left hand, and then your left knee is up and your right leg is straight. So all you're going to do is just lift straight up and down. Don't let it go all the way down though. And when you get up to the top, try to get that split second where you just hold the contraction. So you're just gonna do 10 of these. We got five more. But this really isolates your adductors. It's, it's really a great, a great uh, exercise. Okay, now we're gonna pulse it up for 10. I'm already feeling it. I mean, this is already hard for me. <laughs> and then we're gonna hold it up for 10. Woo, I'm starting to shake. <sighs> and bring it down. So if you do, you know, two or three sets of those, you're definitely gonna feel it the next day. I'm already feeling it now. So then we're gonna just switch around and do the other side, same thing. So you're gonna lay down and support your head with your hand. Bring your right knee up and support yourself with your with your right hand support your body and then just lift it up and really squeeze when you get it up there but don't rest it all the way down when you come down always keep a little bit of tension we're gonna do five more really squeeze it when you get up there try to keep your your foot level more. Okay, now we're going to pulse it. And then we're going to hold it for 10. Ooh. And bring it down. So like I said, if you do, you know, three sets of that, you're definitely going to feel it. Okay, so I think we did pretty well overall. Um, you know, we did about five different exercises and we hit a lot of major muscle groups. And what I would suggest is maybe do another set of each exercise that we did on your own and you'll definitely feel it tomorrow. But, um, you know, remember that whether you're using weights or bands, it doesn't really matter as long as you just start moving. And, you know, do those exercises and your own body weight will add a lot, which is, is awesome so you don't really necessarily need to use the weights or the bands but if you have them and you feel strong enough and you feel like you can do it then add them in so I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and um, if you ring the bell it will remind you of my videos that are uploaded every Tuesday at noon so hey today's my brother's birthday happy birthday Ken hope you have a great day but um, thank you guys so much I really appreciate you watching and working out with me um, and we'll see you next time. Bye!